upset wins in the soccer sectional semifinals Thursday, bring Madison West and Middleton together Saturday in Wanakee with the winner heading to state in Milwaukee next week. West gets the first good chance of the game in the 22nd minute when Rose Brown sends the ball inside for Sarah Monshine. She gets off a sharp angle shot, but Middleton keeper Megan Ladine gets in the way. Middleton's number 23, Leah Peterman, puts a right footer into the six yard box and keeper Meredith Thompson is able to knock it out of harm's way. Free kick for the Cardinals' Kirsten Gunderson in the 31st minute, and she steps up and drives it into the top of the net, and Middleton takes the lead. You'll see from goal cam that Gunderson sends it right over the wall. The Cardinals take that lead into the second half, but the Regents turn on the pressure. Monshine crosses for Helen Carey, but her first touch rolls in on Ladine. 57th minute, and here's a nice run down the right side by Brown. She draws a corner kick when her shot gets blocked wide and the Regents make things happen in the area on that corner. Middleton's Megan Sullivan clears the initial chance and Gunderson heads it out. It comes back to Caitlin Gerard, whose right footer takes a couple of bounces before Brown redirects it past Ladine for a 1-1 tie. Yeah, it was kind of just uh, bounce off the shin guard. I just swung my leg and it went in. So it was, it was luck, but it was also my teammate played a perfect pass to me. And um, it's her goal as much as mine. So. From goal cam, you'll see the ball swings right to Brown, whose right footer is too quick for Ladine. So we're even, but West keeps pushing forward. Emma Hedico ends up with the shot here in the 64th minute, but Ladine is over to smother it. Three minutes later, it's the Regents again with a chance. Emma Guilfoyle floats in across and Monshine goes up for it, but Ladine comes down with it. Monshine turns in the area and Brown sends the ball off the post, but West gets called for a foul. Extra time is less than 90 seconds away, but Monshine turns again and gets the ball into Brown, who smashes it home from close range for her second of the night, and West goes up 2-1. Oh, uh, it was perfect. Um, I just, I saw the ball coming in. Um, I just kind of put my foot out, let the ball just bounce off it. It was perfect feeling, um, and I just saw it hit the back of the net, and I just, it was, it was amazing. I don't, she's another two steps forward, she's, maybe she's off sides, you know, or she doesn't hit it right, it goes right at the goalie. I mean, they've got a great keeper. If you give her anything close, she'll get it. Time runs out on the Cardinals, and Madison West is headed to state for the first time since 2003 with a 2-1 victory over Middleton. Yeah, it was a tough second half for us. We looked, we were getting a little tired, and we just needed to hold on a little bit longer, and it was just unfortunate bounce, kind of. What can you do? That's the game of life, the game of soccer. So, you know, we gave ourselves the best opportunity, you know, we to, to get to the state tournament. We took out some big dogs, and, you know, so came a little short. West emerges from the sectional as the sixth seed, having traveled a tough road to Milwaukee. I told the girls, if you want to go to state, if you want to do that, you're going to have to be able to beat at least three of those five teams. And to be honest with you, I don't care what the order is. You know, I told the girls, I don't care if they make us a 16 seed. At some point, we're going to have to beat those teams. And, uh, you know, you just do what you can do on that. We heard rumors um, that, like, oh, West was easy, you know, um, we'd never let that get us down. Um, we always came out for every game. Um, we were the sixth seed and, and we we're going to state. So it's an incredible feeling. Um, we just took it together as a team, um, regrouped, and just came out hard for every game. And hard work, this is where it gets you. So.